The rallying point was the frontage of the university's council chamber. Executives alongside members of the four unions, namely the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, the Non-Academic Staff Union, NASU, Senior Staff Association of Nigerian Universities, SANU, and National Association of Academic Technologists, NAT, had earlier held an emergency meeting where the issue at hand was deliberated upon and decisions taken. Representatives of the unions took turns to address the gathering. Their remarks all tilted towards an outright dissatisfaction and rejection of the removal of Professor Luatoni Ogundipe as the Vice Chancellor, University of Lagos. The removal of our Vice Chancellor is illegal, is known, and void. The well recognized Vice Chancellor, we know, here in the University of Lagos, is remain Professor Luatoni Ogundipe. Legality must not be on illegality. Must not be on legality. The Congress took a rousing dimension with the arrival of the embattled Vice Chancellor Professor Luatoni Ogundipe alongside Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of development services, Professor Fola Shadi Ogunshola, from the Governing Council meeting which held in Abuja, where the purported removal of Professor Luatoni Ogundipe was announced. <laughs> The union leaders assured Professor Gundipe of their support and vowed to pursue the joint staff union's resolutions to implementation. Because of the consistent violation of the university regulation by the Dr. Wale Babalaki led council, we pray that that council be immediately dissolved. In his remarks, Professor Luatoni Ogundipe appreciated the union members for the solidarity. To remain an investor to move this university forward, remain a builder to build this university, and let us wait for the directive from the government. The Congress dovetailed into a peaceful procession around the university campus by members of the Joint Staff Unions who were joined by the Vice Chancellor Professor Luatoni Ogundipe alongside other high ranking members of staff of the university. For Unilac TV News, it has been Bingagbile reporting.